hello there welcome to this tutorial it's simultaneous equations and uh, in this video we are going to be looking at substitution method so substitution method is the method here we look at some of the problems use the method of substitution to solve the following pairs of equations simultaneously so we have the we have four pairs of equations here we are going to start with problem one for problem one we are going to label the two equations one and two so we have 3x plus y is equal to 5 call it equation 1 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 7 call it equation 2 the method of substitution is to make one of the variables the subject of the relation in one of the equations and then substitute in the other equations so we have to inspect which one can be easily made the subject of the formula or relation so if you look at y in equation one it can be easily be made the subject of the relation there so we say from equation one uh, if i take this to this side you'll be left with y on the left hand side this will now be five minus 3x so I can call it equation 3 what I do now is since I have transformed equation 1 to become equation 3 I will now substitute equation 3 in equation 2 we now put 3 in 2 so that we now have a 2x minus 3 into 5 minus 3x is equal to 7 so I will now expand the bracket so I have 2x minus 15 plus 9x is equal to 7 negative 3 times negative 3x gives positive 9x so I have to take note of that collecting the like terms this is 2x plus 9x that will give us uh, 11x taking this negative 15 to the right hand side it becomes positive so we now have 7 plus 15 giving us a uh, 22 dividing both sides by 11 x is equal to 2 so we now put x is equal to 2 in equation 3 so we now have y equal to 5 minus 3 into 2 5 minus 6 gives negative 1 so in coordinate form I have 2 comma negative 1 as the solution of problem 1 so I go to problem 2 we make 2a plus b equal to 1 as equation 1 and a minus 2b is equal to negative 7 as equation 2 so from here uh, we have the liberty of making either b the subject of the formula in equation one or a the subject of the formula in equation two so i am choosing to make a the subject of the formula in equation two so that we now have a is equal to this negative 2b going to the right hand side i have 2b minus 7 i call it equation 3 now we put equation 3 in 1 since I have transformed equation 2 to become 3 so I will not put 3 in 1 putting 3 in 1 I have 2 into 2b minus 7 then plus b is equal to 1 so expanding this bracket 2 times 2b gives a 4b 2 times negative 7 gives negative 14 plus b is equal to 1 so here I have 4b plus b giving us 5b negative 14 going to the right hand side becomes positive 14 so that we now have 1 plus 14 giving us 15 so dividing both sides by 
5 b is equal to 3 so b is equal to 3 so we will now have to substitute b equal to 3 in equation 3 so we put b equal to 3 in equation 3 please <laughs> don't look at it that because we have b equal to 3 that is why we are substituting into equation 3 oh no 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 see equation 3 when we put the value of b to be 3 here we'll be able to get our value of a so we have a is equal to 2 into 3 minus 7 2 times 3 gives 6 6 minus 7 gives negative 1 a is equal to negative 1 so in coordinate form I have negative 1 comma 3 so this is a B so from here we go to problem 3 for problem 3 I take 2 m minus 3 n is equal to 2 as equation 1 and 3 m plus 2 n is equal to negative 10 as equation 2 so we have a uh, here it is not oh god we don't have the liberty of making a specific variable as subject of the relation so we can just choose anyone so i am picking from equation one i want to make m the subject of the relation so if i hold 2m take this to this side it becomes 2 plus 3n dividing both sides by 2 I now have m is equal to 2 plus 3m divide by 2 call this equation 3 so here I have to substitute 3 in 2 so I put 3 in 2 so I will now have 3 into 2 plus 3n over 2 then plus 2n is equal to negative 10 since I have the denominator here as 2 well, I'm going to multiply through by 2 so if I multiply this by 2 these two will go expanding this bracket I have 6 plus 9n then multiplying this one by 2 plus 4 and multiply this by 2 is equal to negative 20 so I collect the like terms 9 n plus 4 n gives 13 n this is 6 going to this side becomes negative 6 that will give us equal to negative 26 so dividing both sides by 13 I have n is equal to negative 2 and I'll put n is equal to negative 2 in equation 3 to get the value of m so I say put n is equal to negative 2 in equation 3 so we now have it as uh, m equal to 2 plus 3 into negative 2 over 2 so we have um, negative 6 here 2 minus negative 6 over 2 that will give us negative 4 over 2 will give us a negative 2 so we've gotten the values of m and n in coordinate form I have it as negative 2 comma negative 2 so I go to the fourth problem that's problem four again um, this is not in this usual form we call it standard form so we take this positive one to the right hand side it becomes 4x minus 3y is equal to negative one we call that one equation one so the second equation we call it uh, equation two again there's no freedom of making a particular variable as the subject of the relation so I say from equation 1 again I want to make x the subject of the relation so I have a 4x this going to the other side becomes 
3y minus 1 dividing both sides by 4 so I have x is equal to 3y minus 1 over 4 call it equation 3 for equation 3 I have to substitute 3 in 2 put 3 in 2 I have 6 into the whole of this expression that's 3y minus 1 over 4 minus 5y is equal to negative 2 so here I am going to multiply true by 4 if I multiply this by 4 I will be left with the numerator so expanding it will give me 18 y minus 6 then this is minus 5 times 4 gives negative 20 y minus 8 multiply this negative 2 by 4 gives negative 8 so I collect the like terms 18 y minus 20 y gives negative 2 y taking this negative 6 to the right hand side it becomes negative 8 plus 6 and that will give us negative 2 dividing both sides by negative 2 I have y is equal to 1 then we now substitute y is equal to 1 in equation 3 so we now have our x to be 3 into 1 minus 1 over 4 3 into 1 that's going to give us 3 minus 1 gives 2 over 4 that's 2 over 4 simplifying it I have it as 1 over 2 so in coordinate form we have it as half comma 1 since the x is half and the y is 1 so we have done justice to problem 4 and this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching goodbye